Uh, all right, this is RPG Night 1989 with another episode of Maw's Warlock. In the last episode, we got here to the mushroom field, and now we're fighting more people. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, is there a patroller around in this area? If there's a uh pers if there's a uh, a mole a mole person patrolling, I'm gonna have to be careful. If not, I think I'm quiet enough I can kill them all. Oh shit. Ah, there was. Okay, can I Deflect. Oh, I can actually. I didn't realize you can actually deflect those attacks. Mainly because, like I said, I've been. Ah. Oh god. Yeah, that attack pretty much one shot them, but yeah, I got rid of the big guy, so I will state this. Oh crap. Oh. God, there's more of you. Ah, uh, and funny enough, in the in the second game, this is actually a job class on its own. Oh crap! No, I will waste ammo just to not die. Hit him once. Good job. Good job, innocents. Now let's loot them. Ooh, I got bone. Yeah, he, um, these creatures are one of the few ways of getting bone easily enough. Uh, yeah, creatures, and you can sometimes find them in scrap piles, but don't count your don't count like your chickens. And it's a, that's an expression. Just basically, don't expect them to to spawn in there a lot. Anyway, so yeah, there's another. There's a little junk pile back here. It just has two bone. Uh, I think the junk piles are also randomly generated, but that is an educated guess and not a good one at at, at all. It's just a guess. Oh, I didn't search you. I thought I searched you all. Oh, hey, out of all of them, just one of them didn't give me something. Okay, so... But yeah, expect me to do a lot of sneaking around. Okay, let me let me say that. Expect a lot of sneaking around. Stealth is actually your best friend in this game. Like, if I didn't actually switch just being pure range there for a few seconds, I actually would have died. And I would have had to restart the... Oh, God. Wait. Oh, oh, that's right. Wait, wait, what? Oh, crap. Hi. How did you see me? <sighs> Screw it. I'm gonna use my gun. Die. No, oh, god damn it. Oh. So yeah, the guard dogs will attack at the uh, mole people, so be prepared to fight the mole. Oh wow, oh yeah, that's right, there's not that many in here. So, while he's distracted by innocents, we kill him. I know that sounds, nah, that sounds awful, but you know what? They deserve it. Now I'm pretty sure the next area has human enemies, so be careful. Yeah, be careful. Oh crap, I'm down to four shots. Uh, it takes ten. It takes a lot just to craft one one bullet in this game too. That's the other problem. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. There isn't. I don't think. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no, there is. There's just like this one scrap pile in this room. Hardware! That is going to be very nice, because hardware is re relatively hard to get. Uh, yeah, I think it's always going to be saving from the bottom now. Alright. Unless you get to, like, a new location, then the game does a... Oh, you... Can you... 
you see me? Can you see me now? No, you can't. Well, then I will sneak around you and hit bop you one. Yeah. You're looking to get some free hits in. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the dogs have a lot of health. So be prepared to actually have to technically fight them. Because they are remotely difficult. Well, not really, but they are... If you let them get the few hits they can in, they will do a lot of damage. Like, if you've noticed, I've been trying to go, like, more defensively with my, uh, with skills I learn. The weapons can kind of make up for a lot of the damage you can't get from, like, doing that. But there is actually a reason I'm doing that is, and it actually has to do with, well, you know, actually with the game and all that. Um, I'm trying to keep myself from, uh... Okay, so yeah, we're getting some water. Alright, now we're gonna leave the mushroom field, basically, through there. Anyways, the reason I'm doing that is because, if you've noticed, I can get... I can die pretty easily. Weapon attacks will do a lot of damage and can kind of shorten the time between, you know, what you... how, how often you attack and stuff, but... Honestly, it's actually better just to get like as much defense and health as you can get than anything else Because eventually that's gonna stock up on you and it will literally make one of the best things you can do so Yeah, if you want to go back to the Christian or kiss or yeah, kiss her in, you can just go here and also I think the enemies respawn Anyways, yeah, I got 4,000 experience. I don't think I leveled up no. Wait, did I? No, I did. Huh. Who would have known? Wait. Oh, that's right. At this point in the game, now I get two per level, not not three. Yeah, at a certain point in the game, the game will lower the amount of uh, skill points you get. Uh, anyways. Alright, so... What I'm going to do... Huh... Okay, I guess those guys are still out. But, yeah, I still want to... Actually, do I have enough? Oh, I can now finally do that, but I don't have enough points. And oh, Okay, I want Recycler, because Recycler will help out a lot. I don't think there is a level cap in the game, but I could be wrong. Eh, screw it. No, 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 they're worth stuff. They are worth stuff. I'm talking to myself because I need to get the items from these guys and blah blah blah. Anyways, you can be stealthy enough and damn it. Uh, and if you can. Oh, you little. Oh, come on! Really? Really, game? Screw you. Oh, hey, I got lucky and hit all three this time. So, yeah, they can't defend themselves. Well, by the way, when they're blinded, they can't defend themselves, and that actually is good, because that means you just get free hits in. Wait. How does that make sense? Anyways, uh... Yeah, I kind of recommend... This is also another reason why I don't recommend finishing them off, because I don't think they'll respawn after you finish them off. But if you let them live, they will keep spawning in and giving you more stuff. Win-win in my opinion, but that's just an opinion. Huh. Wait, why is he still down? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't really actually make sense. Uh... Hopefully I can get full health before... You know what? I'm gonna wait a few seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna pause and I'll wait a few seconds to get my health back up, so I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I just no, I just got, got knocked them out off screen. To be fair, you guys have already seen this fight, seen this, so honestly, it's just, it's just a rehash, and honestly, you're gonna see, this is gonna happen a lot more often, so with me, because I don't kill them, because, you know, why, why not let them live so they can just keep dropping me stuff? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you kill them, they never spawn back. And honestly, I do kind of like the idea of just getting free stuff all the time. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, just one of the other guys I knocked out. Yeah, I could actually go back in there and do some more, but honestly, I don't want to. And oh, oh, hey, I forgot actually. Good thing I was paying, trying to pay attention this time. Anyways, I don't want to do any more of that. And we're kind of over-leveled for this area, but to be fair, combat isn't that straightforward, so... Eh, eh you'll see. <sighs> yeah, like I said, it's actually ill-advised in the game to heal up, like, immediately. Alright, so... Now, I think... Do we have to talk to the mutants real quick? Hold on, let me check. Okay, so... Go see Jay about the escape. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, I didn't know this. there was actually a uh, thing about... Oh! Oh! Guy was really worried. So for killing the dog. Uh, he lost the got to him seeing his dogs die. But better to wipe out the disease. Huh, I didn't realize, actually... I didn't realize this. I didn't realize this journal actually had this diary had like every uh, everything that was going on. Oh, that's right. Okay, this is Innocence Journal, by the way. Yeah, it will continue to expand. So, okay, fights and you have like you know guard breaks and all that, health regen, which if you have those healing items, they will heal automatically. Tells you about the locations and all that. <coughs> okay, it says go see Jay, so. Well, let's go see Jay. Anyways, so, we'll looks speak like to you Jay. To put that theory to the test. Bob told me. Don't sweat it. Only thing I've uh, done is to get out. I've tried. Mm. I failed. But I was uh, on my own. So okay, so he What's actually now knows, yeah, there's an escape plan so, going on. I suppose you might be useful. Uh, I'm making sure we got enough water for the trip, and another prisoner's looking to see how we can get around the train's electrical security. Hmm. We're going to be leaving by train after creating a diversion just uh, before, of course, with the help of the mutants, for example. Damn, you've pretty uh, much thought of everything. All right, if I can help, you let me know. All right, I think we're actually in the last stages of the of everything that's going on. So now, do I still have to talk to? Okay. Yeah, so, I guess I didn't talk to him for a while. So, problem? You don't look so good. Queen looked happier than you do. What's up? Hmm. I tried several times uh. to get see Oh, okay. Here. Hell yeah. I'll see what I can. Wait. Oh, hey. Oh, a side quest. I didn't realize there was actually one of those. Huh. I actually didn't know about this side quest. Huh, I usually just go straight to the next area, so. Like I said, I am pretty high level now, and with my uh, upgraded defense, I should be even better in terms of uh, protecting myself, so there is that. Oh, so. Yeah, so, like I said, the next thing I want to do is I want to max this out, because this will give me more regeneration in combat. So, but the thing I really want to get after this is probably this. Uh, weapon Mastery, doing more damage with armed attacks. Now, I could get Might and do, like, you know, you know, do more damage with the guard breaks. Which is not bad, but at the same time, you can, I would just, like I said, get this. Maybe get this as well and probably focus on something else. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Anyways, what we gotta do is head to. Yeah, I didn't realize that there was actually a thing we can do. Huh. Ah. Uh. What do you want? Seems you uh. got Jay's lucky charm. Ah, uh, really? Well, I don't know what uh. you're talking about. I'm sure we could find a way to. Ref you threatening me? Uh. A guard? You want us to shove you out in the sun? Ah. Uh. Get the. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's, it's, sorry, that's for you to tell me, soldier. 
According to this, you know, <sighs> I wouldn't give a shit except that he helped us out a little, like saving the what? Oh. He saved. You can explain yourself mm. later, but j and if he should maybe get interested in you, ah. might be well then, soldier. I, I, I give him back the object. I, I, everyone. All right. I don't, as for you, you got your memento. And don't try to. Ah. All right. And yeah, I didn't realize you could do that if you're just being nice to them. But yeah, we got it. So, this is a neat, this is a nice little side quest. Now watch, I all of a sudden get like the most powerful weapon in this part of the game. <laughs> if I do, if I do actually get that, I will probably pause my mic to laugh my uh, laugh my butt off. Uh, it's like you get the god pickaxe of godness. It turns everything into mush in one hit. I'm kidding. I don't think there actually ever is a wep hidden weapon like that. There probably is, but... Anyways, hey, speak to Jay. For you? Hey, here's yeah, your trinket. Got your lucky charm. You could have uh. told me it was a picture of your wife. Well, didn't want you thinking uh. I'm a sentimental kind of guy. Anyway. Uh. Thanks, buddy. Here. Mm. Take... And what did I get for the gift? I got something. It won't show me right away. Oh, okay. I got some serum, some experience. Did I level up? No, no, I didn't. Uh, how much more? Wow. Okay, I'm not going to level hey, up anytime soon. Anyways, so. Alright. If you want, if you still want to come with us, we're going now. Leave this hole. Okay, you can count on me. Okay. Later, Jay. Later, Jay. So, I think Jay is needed for this part of the quest. Now, if you wanted to do, uh, if you're also doing Bob, or, uh, Bob's side of the quest line, or, uh, if you had Bob, he would, you, I think you would also have to talk to him. And he'd be like, okay, let's get going. Anyways. Now they're talking about, now the mutants are revolting. And... And, yeah, mutants are fighting. Ah, uh, I recommend helping the mutants in this part of the fight, in this part of the game too. Want to know why? Because let's just say there's a reason you want to help out the mutants at this part. And God damn, that's scum, by the way. Just so you guys know, that is actually scum doing this. Go scum. <laughs> he spit on him too. <laughs> Go scum. <sighs> and now the mutant rebellion has happened. Oh, he's smiling. God damn scum did a good job at what he did. Yeah. So, yeah, I recommend you help, him, help out the uh, mutants. So, ah. Yeah, they can do a long wind-up attack. If you can actually block, you can attack them while it's going on and all that. So, yeah. Look how fast the mutants, these mutants are tough. They will actually beat these guys up long before you get to you. Now, you can attack the mutants at this point. I don't recommend it. The only reason I said help out the mutants is, well, technically you can't move forward because it does lock you into combat. But at the same time, it's actually, uh, you can actually loot these guys, and they can give you some scrap metal and cloth. So, yeah, it's not bad. I don't recommend helping the, or fighting the mutants, because, well, for one, they helped you out, and two, I think they also can affect your reputation, but also, they are tough. Yeah, it's no joke. They're no joke in combat. They are tough at this, in this point of the game. So, yeah. Oh, well, let's just say there is a reason I do like... Sir. But anyways. So, yeah. So now we're going to be in, the f in this place. Now, remember, the guards have gunners. So you will have to be careful. So be careful. Oh, crap. I can barely see him. So sorry if I... But yeah. You, know, you got the gunner guys. You got the guys that are going to be like... Screw... 
Wait, can we? No. I don't think there is a power attack in this game. Okay, so we knocked them both out, which is good. Now, I'm going to state this. Be prepared. Because once we turn this off, let's just say I'm going to have to... I'm going to... I want to set up my arrangement with changing RB to that and I might want to may I want might want to do the trap there's a reason I'm saying might uh, okay once I'm gonna wait until I'm fully healed to do what I want to do trust me you want to make sure you're healed before you do this or well so now, you want to save that grenade I just put on my thing. Ah, oh, crap. So. So, yeah, you want to save that grenade I just put in my inventory. That grenade will help you out a lot. So. Oh, crap. Oh great, a uh, char a uh, gunner. So, yeah, like I said, you want to save that grenade. I'm gonna repeat this multiple times, but do not use that grenade. In fact, I was actually half tempted to just hide or uh, take it off, but and eh, we'll see. Anyways, I also recommend to grab every anything you can grab that you think would be a uh, loot everything in this part of the game this is a one-time only area so well to be fair in the entire game everywhere you go you have a one-time chance of ever going to so it is in my opinion recommend to fight all the enemies knock them out loot them and then go away yeah ah uh, but you always want to loot them. You want to make sure you grab everything that you can find in this place. Because, yeah, no going back. Ever. Okay, so next thing we gotta do is... Wait, can we go in here? No, we can't actually. Huh, okay, so what we gotta do is go up here. I don't know if you can actually be stealthy. I'm pretty sure the guards are on alert at all times at this point in the game. I think they are. I, I mean, it's it's a wild guess. Uh, I don't think you get up there. Anyways, I think the guards are on, are actively waiting for you, like actively, like constantly on guard at this point in the game. Anyways, so yeah, your character is not gonna stealth real quick, but I am gonna save real quick because this is. Oh, this is going to be a fun part. Anyways, I don't think... Actually, I don't think there are any guards in this part. Nope, nope, there are. There are. Ah, uh, yeah. Be careful. I don't think there's, like, a lot of guards at this point in the game. Okay, yeah, he's not going to go too far. So, what I want to do is knock his ass out. It's going to alert the other two, but... Ah, honestly, it's not the worst that would be done. Oh, hey. I didn't realize we were actually at level uh, 13. Ah. Wow, I already leveled up. So... Okay, so next we gotta get the shielder. I hate shielders. So. Alright, I got the counter attack. Okay. Aw, oh, dang it. Ah, well. Alright, first thing I wanna do is not touch that. <laughs> Again. So, what I do wanna do is upgrade this. This will now, during combat, should give me more uh, health. So that is actually a good thing. Um, like I said, recommended, go get everything. Now, like I said, I'm also gonna recommend something big. Do 
This next fight, I'm going to recommend grouping, if you can, group everyone up, and I'm gonna, well, I'll show you. But yeah, you want to use that grenade I just, I have. Oh, there you are. I was like, where's the last guy? Ooh, I got hardware. Hardware is hard to come by, and it's used to make, like, a lot of the really good defensive gear, like, Let's say the gear that gives you electric defense. Yeah, you need hardwire to upgrade that. And I do recommend it because, you know, getting that gear is really, really nice. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so I got everyone down here. I'm going to save because I am not risking my, I am not getting my butt kicked. Just in case, because this next part of the fight... Oh boy, this next part of the fight. So, what we gotta do is... Wait, where do we... Oh, right, 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 we gotta go down here. That's right. So, now... Jay and the train can't be very far now. Uh, uh. Now, be prepared. Here it comes. The first, in my opinion, the first boss fight of the game. The first true boss fight. We're up against Technomancer. C well, well, or Scene, or right. Sen, or, or whatever. Our genius prisoners uh. to part company with us. That would explain uh. the inconveniences we've been experiencing lately i suggest you sir uh, sir you know i cannot let you escape and all right so to stop you forever ah uh, oh i can't ask the kid to fight he will just basically be knocked out in like five seconds uh all if right anybody yeah. shows up stop him Alright, so this is going to be a very hard fight. Yeah, we're up against a Technomancer. Not the first, not the last one, but he is the first. So, what I recommend doing is grouping everyone up. Scene will not follow... Ah, crap. Will not follow normal uh, parameters. Now, while they're down, I recommend using the trap. Get these guys down as much as you can. Okay, they're down. Okay. Kill them. Kill them. Get rid of these guys A ASAP. Your main goal is to fight Scene. He is not easy either. Be careful. He will kill you. But this is also the reason why I set up his uh, set up the uh, guard as well to block electric attacks. Because Scene actually is, uses a lightning attack. And if he hits you with it... Ah! Yeah, that hurts. Ah! Okay. Damn it, now he's actually... Okay, so yeah, if you notice, now I'm blocking that, so he can't actually hit me. And I actually have to technically wait until he's done, so I'm just gonna fire at him. Back two shots, he's down. We win. Okay, now please tell me I can loot. I don't We've think I can loot now. these guys. We're gonna have all the camp guards yeah. on our asses after that. Oh. Damn, you killed a technomancer. I didn't think it was even possible. They're just human. Of course you can kill them. They're human beings, you know. They're just really hard to kill human beings. But plot twist. What, what are you doing? Mm. Are we going? Shouldn't we get rid of this thing? What are we gonna do with that? Ah, uh, plot twist. It'll give us a better chance to escape. Uh. Yep. And that's what Roy was a technomancer. Mention. All these wires? You gonna sell them? Shit. Never thought I'd put these things uh. back on. Put them back on. Uh. Roy, what are you saying? You know how to use these things. Yes. Now let's uh. go. Yep. Roy was a technomancer. Yeah, shock. 
But of course it makes sense why the uh, Technomancer okay, path was here. set up. The train ready? Almost. Just a few more minutes uh. and we'll be breathing trail dust. It's not over yet, Jay. There's an entire regiment on our ass. There's no way to get uh. this machine to go any faster. No, Roy. Sorry. I've done my best. But I got an idea. I'll hold Aww. on. No, Jay. Don't be stupid, Jay. If you go, they'll kill you. Let's face it, I got a better chance of slowing uh. down than you. You gotta be kidding. Why don't you just call me a fucking pussy? You keep an eye on the kid. You guys are almost family. Uh. You could tear him up if something happened to you. And get the There. I'll find another way to get out. See you in Shadow Lair. Now go. All right. Uh, they, they're going to kill him, aren't they? Yes. Yep. We we never sure see him again. No, actually, I don't, I don't actually think we. I think we do. Do we? I don't remember. Master. Maybe. Master. Anyways. Ow! 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 Mary found. Aw. Now who's going to touch me in my in my? In certain places, I really, really like. What? He was doing that, so sorry. Sean, it it can't be. Not, Not you. you. How could that, How monster, could that monster kill, kill you? you? How uh, dare he take how your dare things? How dare he take your things? Even though he most likely knows. If he did, he must likely know what they were. No. Ugh. He'll pay okay, I'm done doing I that. Swear. I'll oh hunt him God! To hell if I have to. Yep. Now we got a pissed off Mary. The man who saved me. Oh, don't think you will. Oh yeah, and now he'll talk his about his personality it. than hmm. I could ever have imagined. Roy's strength and courage oh. are easy to see, and though he tries to hide it, he can be friendly oh. and compassionate. <laughs> He's a rare breed. Well, I'll just say this: you would, if you, you would have dropped this. The sand soap. Or worse. There's How does sand clean you? That he's I don't know. Sense to me. Uh. His knowledge about relics, his attitude, he's different from anyone I'd ever met. Uh. His mastery of technology. Yeah, it's actually stated that uh, Roy was a master. Part. I think he was the like a really high rank coming together uh, when I discovered Technomancer before, before all this happened. To escape the gilded cage of the Technomancers. He yeah, basically, he, yeah, he's if a fugitive. He basically escaped from the, the main camp of the, uh, I'll talk more about them later, because if I remember correctly, the, the okay, so, yeah, the Abundance, uh, Technomancers, and get back beyond oh, yeah. our own lines. Aurora <sighs> seems to have the war, and both sides are demobilizing troops. Mm. We've abandoned the train, moving from one mm. shadow line to the next. Staying away from marauders. Bandits. Marauders are bandits. More than enough so. time to question him about his past, and what went on at the camp. Uh, what he thought of Sean and his apprentice, for hmm. example. I he doesn't know his answer. To be honest, he rarely does at all. Yeah. But I know him a whole lot better all the same. At least I like to think so. Yeah. I Let's just say that the end result of all this is not going to be good for him. Anyway, Shadow Lair, this is the main... I think this is like the... the. Uh, I think this is like the... Uh, not like the upper part of the town, but kind of like the the shady area of the of Abundance. Uh, and this is just a one-time area now. But we are not going to start this episode now. And t when this cutscene's over, we're actually ending the episode here. Because, you know, you can't get stuff done. Now we are in a new location. Yes, this is a new location with new quests, new people, new everything. And Roy has the same indifference. You sure your parents gonna Also, if you notice you now, Innocence win. actually has a unique uh prodigal son back. You'll be welcome. Uh, My parents are in the militia. I can't wait to tell them all you uh, did for me. Ah, uh, they're in the militia. Change while we were away. And that includes the militia's uh, popularity. We'll see. We'll see. You were lucky enough to snatch uh. some clothes your size. That'll be more Okay, and they do actually and I the talk about how how Innocence area. actually got his own set of clothes. He found some clothes. I kind of 
of like the chemistry between the two. Like they're they act more like friends. But yeah, so now we have access to the technomancy. I'll talk more about that later. But I'm gonna end the episode here because it's been dragging on and I don't want to continue to almost 40 minutes. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. In the next episode, we're gonna actually look through abundance. Yes, this is the the second location. I'll see you guys then. Have a good day. Peace.